This is Creating a Resin Geo Painting by Kaylee Bender of KB's Creations on behalf of ResinObsession.com. Here are the supplies that I used. And a picture of the resin that I used. And then here are the colors of alcohol ink and glitter that I used. And here are my first geode attempts, just to show you that my first ones were not very good, but that with practice you definitely can improve. So here's the current one that I did um, to get this crushed glass to be this color. I already had some in blue, but I used some alcohol ink. I just mix the two together in a cup and let it dry and then applied it to the canvas. And all of the colors you see me use, except for white, were alcohol inks. And I showed the colors at the beginning. Even if I use glitter, like in that one stripe, I mixed a drop or two of alcohol ink in with it. So it's mostly just about doing layers and doing the sections separately so that if you don't want them to blend together, you let them cure before you place them beside each other. There were parts I didn't like, and so I kept layering over them. And you're gonna want a torch to get rid of bubbles. This was over the course of several days I did this, and I ended up not liking this fluorescent pink. So I ended up covering over it. But that's okay. And that's a Posca paint marker. And then for the real sparkly sections, I used that Folk Art Glitterific paint mixed with De La Rowney, um Purple Lake Acrylic Ink. And I did those with no resin. So just more layering until I liked it. Lots of glitter. And here is the final result. very sparkly and you'll want to do a final layer of clear to level it all out and here are the most important things I learned you want to plan out your color scheme and your layout first remember that anything on the canvas might show through you want to start small and make sure that it's level only mix up about two ounces of resin at a time and just gotta accept that it's gonna take multiple layers to get a decent looking geode Add more glitter than you think you'll need. And if you don't want two sections or colors to blend together, wait for one to cure overnight before adding another beside it. And don't add your lines with the paint marker until the very end. That was my biggest mistake. So you can also find me at these places. And thanks again, I'll see you soon, bye.